I hope that new Odin 2 logo got you hyped for this Nintendo Wii showcase. And we're going to start right off with Donkey Kong Country Returns. All of the games in this showcase are running with just the normal Dolphin emulator, which you can get from the Play Store. And I've not made any particular tweaks except, of course, widescreen, which the Wii should have supported anyway. And, of course, increasing the resolution. In this case, most of the games are running at 3x native resolution. You'll see there very quickly that without really doing much of any configuration, shaking the Odin 2 does activate the shake of your Nintendo Wii, which is cool. There's a lot of platformers do use that despite not using the, the waggle wand or pointers or things like that. Although, it is a little bit harder to activate the shake when you're trying to keep an Odin 2 on camera and centered. As you can clearly see, this game runs great on the Odin 2, as does the next one, which is Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi, I guess, also running at 3x. I know people tend to request this one, and uh, you notice some weird widescreen glitches. That's probably because I turned on widescreen hacks instead of just activating widescreen mode. Uh, in most games, it works fine regardless, but in this one, probably want to set your Wii to be widescreen. But hey, this is meant to be a performance test and showcase, not necessarily a uh, settings guide. So I will delve into what settings work best in a later video. The third game in this showcase is Kirby's Return to Dreamland, which again I am playing at 3x, and for the most part, it runs great at that resolution. Now, I did choose to feature fewer games for the Wii than I did in the previous two showcases, mostly because I just get tired of reconfiguring controls for games that don't just let me use the nunchuck attachment uh, instead of turning the remote um, it just gets tired and I didn't feel like setting up profiles and all of that just for this showcase so sorry fewer games but more footage from each game I hope you like it I wanted to include this part of the 
game because it's definitely the most intensive and uh, demanding and I did occasionally notice slow down on those big sword swings. I don't know that it really matters that much because during that part you're not really doing anything anyway. It's basically a cutscene. I'm guessing if you lowered the resolution to 2x that would take care of it. Alright, moving on to Mario Kart Wii. To get it completely smooth I did have to lower the resolution to 2x but it still looks beautiful and runs great although I think most of you will probably prefer to play Mario Kart 8 on Switch on your Odin 2. And yes, it runs very well, which you'll see in the next video. Even these level intros, which tend to slow down on a lot of handhelds, still run great on the Odin 2. Alright, time for some Mortal Kombat Armageddon. I don't recall who it was, but I'm quite certain someone requested this game. So, here it is. Enjoy. Now, I'm sure that you noticed some minor slowdowns there. That's because I was foolishly playing it at 4x. Here it is actually at 3x resolution, and that gives you a clue of just how much performance this handheld has. It was really close to playing this Wii game even at 4x native resolution. Monster Hunter 3 Try was a request in the comments, and you'll see here it is just chugging. And it did that whether it was at 3x, 2x, or 1x, so I decided to try one thing, and that is a hack, which I don't normally recommend, but skipping EFB access in this game completely fixes that slowdown. Basically what that does is stops checking for input from the Wiimote pointer. So in a game that doesn't use the pointer, like this, 
that's fine. However, if it's a game like Mario Galaxy, you would definitely get annoyed having to turn that on and off every time you needed to point and grab something. In a perfect world, emulator developers would just skip EFB access automatically for games that absolutely never use the pointer, but we don't live in a perfect world, so we'll just have to set it ourselves sometimes. New Super Mario Bros. Wii runs perfectly on the Odin 2, even at 3x, with absolutely no slowdowns whatsoever, which is awesome. And as you saw in Donkey Kong Country Returns, shaking your Odin 2 works great to get Mario flying. And yes, of course, you can also tilt your Odin 2 to activate situations in the game that need the tilt. Pretty cool. I forget who it was now in the official Discord that wanted to see Sengoku Basara 3, but here you go. And yeah, it's the Japanese version. Sorry, that's what I have, so don't expect any English. Just expect a lot of this super cool guy holding one hand behind his back while he cuts everyone down with his sword.
時の源氏も所詮は傷を恐れるものかこの時代の裂け目に貴殿と相まみえしことは上等な祝宴ってやつだねえサラダ焼き村今の好みは龍にとってふさわしき敵かひどいぜサラダ焼き村龍子は相打つそれだけだよAnd now it's time for one of my personal favorite Wii games, which is Sonic Colors. You do need to turn on Skip EFB Access for this game as well, but again, it does not need the pointer, so it's not a big deal. And once you do that, it runs smooth as butter. And we're going to skip Super Mario Galaxy and go straight to Super Mario Galaxy 2. I mean, it's a newer game. It's a more impressive looking game. So why not? I did need to lower the resolution to 2x to get it running smoothly, but a small price to pay to get to play this game on your Odin 2.
Ah, uh, it's the Legend of Zelda, the Twilight Princess, one more time. And uh, I started this one on 3x resolution and it worked fine again until we got to the water. However, it does look better than the GameCube version. And so you might as well play this version if, if you really want to play the game. Maybe you just don't want to deal with the Waggle one though. I don't know. Personal preference, I suppose. But it does run well at 2x. And sorry, I just cannot be bothered to wrangle all these goats again. So I'm going to call it and switch to Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which seems to be running great at 3x, but you'll forgive me. I really have no idea what I'm doing in these games. When I was in college, we were all playing Unreal Tournament or Halo. I just never got into this game series and probably never will, but I'm including it because I know all of you want to see it.
And that's enough of me poorly playing Super Smash Bros. Brawl. So that wraps this one up. I'm going to wrap up my Switch video and then get started on my review. So check back soon for those. Till then, just keep gaming.